What's up guys? Nashti here and welcome back to my channel. So today, magkakaroon na naman tayo ng sort of product review. Pero, hindi siya yung usual. Kasi guys, ang balak kong i-review ay isang smartphone na nagagaling pa sa early 2010s. So, luma na siya. I'm actually talking about a BlackBerry phone. So, I'm sure until now, you see BlackBerry phones being sold online. But it's no longer the same you know, BlackBerry that we all used to know. Kasi nga, basically, this company called TCL Communications acquired yung rights to use the BlackBerry name and use that name on their BlackBerry branded devices. Pero yun talagang mismong BlackBerry of, of old, hindi na siya yung nagmamanufacture ng mga nakikita yung BlackBerry ngayon. I'm actually talking about this phone. This is the BlackBerry Q10. So basically, it's not an Android running BlackBerry. It's not running the old BlackBerry 7 or 8 OS. It's actually running the BlackBerry 10 OS, which is, I don't know if it can be considered a legacy OS as well. Kasi hindi na dito sino supportahan ng BlackBerry at the moment. So, kasi nga naka-focus na lahat sila dun sa mga Android running BlackBerries in the market. So, ano pang hinihintay nyo? Let's get down to business because it's about to get nasty. Isang paalala, ang video na ito ay hindi katang isip lamang. Ito ay pinag-isipan na talagang pinaghirapan. Kaya huwag kalimutang ilike at mag-subscribe sa aking YouTube channel. I-follow mo namin ako sa Facebook, Twitter, at Instagram. So guys, ito yung box niya. As you can see, it's sobrang luma na. Well, actually, hindi pa naman siya ganun kasama tingnan. At least, alam mo, ito yung time na talagang nandung pa yung Blackberry. Uh, as you can see, mayroon ditong seal ni Globe kasi sa Globe siya galing. Nakuha ko siya sa napaka-affordable na plan. Parang gusto na lang yata ipamigay ni Globe yung Blackberry nung mga time na yon. So, yeah, unbox natin siya at tingnan natin kung ano yung mga meron siyang mga accessories. Actually, hindi ko alam kung nandito pala lahat ng original accessories niya. Malamang nawala na yung iba. Pero we'll go through the specs and um, of course, we'll go through the phone. Katuloy nga nung pinakita ko sa inyo kanina. Okay guys, so we're unboxing a 6-year-old device because the BlackBerry Q10 was launched in 2013. So it's almost 6 years now. As you can see, the box is still in, I can say, pristine condition. So ayan, nakita nyo, uh, yung name lang ng handset sa harap with the BlackBerry logo below. BlackBerry logo sa left side. Some barcodes on the right side some text at the back, BlackBerry logo on top. Yung text niya at the back are basically mga trademarks niya, Research in Motion, BlackBerry, RIM. So now guys, ang name na talaga ng BlackBerry as a company is I think BlackBerry na hindi na siya Research in Motion. Pero itong BlackBerry na to, hindi na din to yung BlackBerry before na nag produce ng mga smartphones and tablets. Basically, nila license sa name brand niya to other companies like TCL to produce BlackBerry branded handsets at yung mga Android running BlackBerry devices that you see on the market today. So, ayan siya. So, let's open it. Ayan. So, natanggal na yung taas. So, basically, dito nakalagay yung phone when, you know, you first open it. So, ayan siya. So, divided into two parts siya. So, itong una, the bottom one contains itong charger adapter. And then, the option kang gumamit ng isa pang klase ng adapter for other markets siguro. Pero, as you can see, USB pa din naman yung port niya dito. Hindi ko pa na-open kasi hindi naman natin ito ginagamit sa Philippines. And then, here, we have yung USB cable niya. So, apparently, buhay pa siya. So, ayan, nandiyan siya. And then, let's see what else we can find inside. Ayan, so halos sinira ko na siya. Ayan, meron tayo mga tips ng uh, 
earbuds niya. So, I couldn't find kung nasan yung original earphones na kasama nito sa sa box. Pero, ayan sila. And then, we have some paperwork. So, ito, may nakalagay dito na Snapdragon yung processor niya. Um, ano itong nakalagay dito? What's this? Pakalaking pel. O, mga safety information and at the back. Yep. Basically, it's just safety information about the phone itself. So, ayan. Mukha na siyang basurahan. para ng Smoky Mountain. Ito. And this one, ito yung parang manual niya. So, nakalagay dito kung nasan yung mga power on and off button. Um, ganun din kung paano may open yung lock screen, yung kanyang 3.5mm jack, yung kanyang mga ports, kasama na yung HDMI display port, which is hindi na masyadong common ngayon. Nandun pa din ang kanyang USB 2.0 charging port, front-facing camera, notification LED, volume up and down, kasama na yung pag-mute at voice control, and of course, yung kanyang um, signature BlackBerry keyboard, microphone, and speaker. So, removable ang battery niya, guys. What else can we find out? Basically, it doesn't list here yung specs ng phone, yung technical specifications. It just tells you how to operate the phone. Like yung mga basic um, commands on how to use the BlackBerry Q10. So, punta na tayo dun sa phone itself. So guys, here we have the BlackBerry Q10. So, I think it's the first of its kind. With yung, kasi sa mga nag-run ng BlackBerry 10 OS nung time niya, siya yung pinakauna yatang nalabas na gumagamit ng QWERTY keyboard at the same time, touch screen. So, ayan. So, tingnan muna natin siya sa, simulan natin sa build quality niya and design. So, wala naman masyadong kakaiba sa kanya aside sa plastic yung katawan niya. Like, ayan. Plastic tong back niya. Pero maganda yung pattern niya. Tingnan nyo. Oh, para siyang parang Kevlar or something ba yung tawag sa ganyang design. Pero ayan. As you can see, removable yung back cover niya. So, removable yung battery. And this is where you put the SIM card. I think single SIM lang siya. And then, here's where you put the micro SD card. So, yan, may nakalagay sa kanya SD card. And, and just easily close it. And then, ayan, ipipindot ko na siya. So, yung front niya, tingnan natin, ayan. So, you have this, the, the speaker here. You have the selfie camera. And then, you also have the notification light. And then, touchscreen tong buong screen na to. You have the QWERTY keyboard from BlackBerry. At the side, you have the volume up and down and mute button. On the right, you have the HDMI and the micro USB port. At the bottom, you have speakers ulit. So, sorry, yung nasa taas na to, earpiece to. Yung nasa baba, yung speakers. At the top part, you'd see the 3.5mm audio jack and the power button. And at the back part, you have the single camera and the LED flash. So, wala namang kaiba sa design niya. It's just plastic. Um, it has no water or dust resistance. But what I like about it is that it's very like handy, very pocketable. It's sobrang comfy siya kawahan at magaan siya guys. Ha? Kasi sobrang hindi na ganti yung mga phones ngayon. Parang sobrang laki na nila na yung kamay ko. Parang mga ngawit ng todo talaga. So, yun. So, yung SIM card niya, micro SIM, and then yung SD card niya, yung um, expandable storage na ay micro SD din. So, for those who don't know, kahit 2013 to inilabas, LTE capable na din tong device na to. So, until now, usable pa din siya. You can still use the LTE networks available. Ah, punta naman tayo sa screen. So, yung screen niya, ayan, kung napansin nyo, it's a bit darker than 
I would like it to be. Hindi siya kasing uh, bright ng mga ibang screens. For, ang reason nito kasi super AMOLED display siya. At ito mga unang generation. Kung naaalala nyo, yung mga AMOLED display nung unang panahon, well, hindi naman sa mga unang panahon, pero before, hindi sila yung kasing bright ng mga LCD counterparts nila. Ngayon na lang naman naging maliwanag yung mga super AMOLED displays, especially ni Samsung. So, yung display niya, it's 720p by 720p. So, HD yung resolution niya with a 328 pixels per inch na pixel density. At ang size ng screen ay 3.1 inches. So, basically guys, square siya. So, ayan, square yung screen niya. Uh, it's powered by a Snapdragon S4 processor. So, obviously, hindi na siya nag-exist ngayon. Uh, it runs on BlackBerry OS 10, which is a defunct OS. So, wala nang ganung OS ngayon. It has 16 gigs of internal storage, which is expandable. And it has 2 gigs of RAM. So, basically, yung spec niya for 2013 ay specs na mga lower mid-range to budget phones ngayong 2018 na 2019. So, hindi, masa- hindi siya masama, guys. Uh, expandable din yung memory niya na up, up to 64GB. Pagdating naman sa camera niya, um, it has an 8 megapixel primary camera with autofocus, with LED flash and HDR, at panorama. And then, for its selfie camera, it only has 2 megapixels. Yung video capture niya sa main camera, it's 1080p full HD at 30 frames per second and sa front camera niya 720p HD lang. So it has loudspeaker, it has a 3.5mm audio jack na nagdi-disappear na sa halos lahat ng mga major smartphone makers except na lang yata for Samsung. So in terms of connectivity, it has Wi-Fi, it supports yung hotspot, it has Bluetooth 4.0, it has GPS, NFC, at may FM radio support din siya, guys. Yun nga lang, syempre, dahil lumang phone siya, it uh, has a micro USB 2.0 port dito sa gilid. Hindi siya katulad nung ngayon na USB-C na yung ginagamit. In terms of sensors naman, meron din siya ng mga accelerometer, gyro sensor, proximity sensor, compass, at mga usual. Meron din siya notification LED. So, ang size naman ng battery niya is 2,100 mAh battery na mukha siyang maliit kapag uh, sa panahon ngayon, inisip mo. Pero the thing is, maliit lang din guys yung phone at 3.1 inches lang naman yung size ng screen niya. So, it's not as bad as you would think. In terms of available colors, dalawa lang naman ng colors niya, black and white. I got this black one. Siguro kasi nga mas, mas blackberry yung dating dahil black siya kaysa pag white. Pero, it comes it comes in two colors. So yun, basically, yun na yung um, rundown ng technical specification. So, tingnan na lang natin ngayon yung mga features niya. So, ayan. So, usual, you see contacts, text messages, phone, um, camera, pictures, music, videos, clock calculator, Blackberry World. So, ito yung pinaka-app store niya. Meron din siyang Amazon App Store built-in. Ito kasi guys, yung time na yung mga BlackBerry 10 phones, they can run most Android applications, if not all. So, again, ang pinaka-limitation is yung square screen niya. Here, may settings, file manager, task manager. Ayan, so kung titignan niyo sa social, meron din siyang mga apps. Pero most of this are from... Uh, from the Amazon App Store kasi hindi lahat ng mga major applications sinusupport ni BlackBerry World nung time niya. So, kaya yun kasi yung pinaka-weakness ng BlackBerry 10 OS, yung lack of app support. Considering sobrang sikat siya for its security features, it failed in one aspect which is yung App Store and App Support. So, yun. So, as you can see, meron tayo pang mga iba pang mga apps na built in from BlackBerry. Um, Ayan, so, meron yung mga Instagram, Messenger, Viber. So, ito yung mga, I think, Android apps na na-install ko. And then, we have some games. Imagine mo, may Temple Run Brave siya. So, 
can also go through the camera kasi yun naman yung mga usual na gusto nyo makita ayan so ayan yung camera niya to be honest it's not really bad especially we can you compare it to some budget phones this 2019 hindi siya masama guys the screen is not as bright so later i'll show you sample photos and then may video recording din siya so if you go naman sa settings ayan so it turn on and off the flash turn on hdr timer there's um, burst panorama time shift and then i think may mga settings pa to below so you can adjust like the resolution of of the videos and some other options pa so yun yung for camera Uh, so far naman, I think it's still very fluid, especially for a device na 2013 pa nilabas. By the way, nung bago to sa market, guys, it was kind of expensive. I don't know if it reached like 30,000 pesos, pero knowing it's a BlackBerry phone, it was expensive at that time. So in terms of other functionality like keyboard, so ito yung nagustuhan ko sa kanya kasi when you text, you just click on post and then go to enter message and then just type hi, hello. So, nagpa-predict din siya. Pero, yun yung gusto ko sa kanya kasi nakakatuwa. Parang uh, very retro yung dating. At the same time, nakakamiss kasi you can still type on actual physical keyboard. Unlike now na karamihan ng mga phones ay touchscreen na. Although, mayroon pa din nga naman yung BlackBerry Key 1 at BlackBerry Key 2 or Key 2 LE. So, ito yung mga Android BlackBerry phones na gumagamit pa din naman ng physical keyboard. Pero, yun nga, nakakamiss siya. Uh, basically, lahat ng features na hahanapin mo sa phone except for sobrang daming apps, I think this phone has it. Yung camera niya, more or less average. Same with video. So, parang gesture-based din siya kasi you just have to scroll up, left, right, to open and exit apps. So, ganun siya kasi nga wala naman siya ibang other controls aside dun sa touchscreen at din tong QWERTY keyboard. So, ngayon, ang question is, worth it pa ba gumamit ng BlackBerry device this 2019? Excluding tong mga BlackBerry Android smartphones. Well, for me... Obviously, kung gusto mo is to impress your friends and others with, you know, cutting-edge features, obviously, this phone will not do it for you. Instead, ang mabibigay niya sa'yo yung feeling of nostalgia, yung pagiging retro niya, yung pagiging legacy smartphone niya na imagine mo if today gumagamit ka ng ganito para magtitinginan sa'yo mga tao, ano yung phone na ginagamit niya? Parang hindi ko yata alam yun na parang ngayon ko lang nakita yun na parang alam mo yun and it's not a bad thing kasi nakakatuwa lang na kung mahilig ka ng merong physical keyboard na pinipindot so it's it's not a bad phone at all so it's something that um, I can recommend using again if you can still find like a usable one kasi itong akin talagang inaalagaan ko siya para in good condition pa din siya as kasi alam ko wala pa tong kahit anong gasgas or any dent or poke nut itong screen nakala mo lang gasgas siya may screen protector siya so pag tinanggal ko tong screen protector kikinis ulit yan 
and I usually put it inside the case. Tinanggal ko lang for this review. So, ito yung case niya. So, ayan. So, it's still in perfect condition and I have no plans of selling this or giving this away kasi parang wala lang. I, I, I like it and uh, in the future, hopefully, magamit ko siya kasi I'm sure yung mga tao may impress, matutuwa, magtataka. And alam mo I can I will be able to elicit different types of of reaction from people just with this phone. It's a good like uh, conversation starter. Parang alam mo yun talagang mapag-uusapan. So, it's nice. So, if you ask me, is it still worth it to use a legacy BlackBerry phone in 2019? Yes! It is, as long as you can find something that's working. So, there you have it. Pa guys, sa panahon ngayon, may lugar pa ba ang isang BlackBerry smartphone sa mundo natin? Alam nyo naman na sobrang puno na tayo ng mga iPhones, ng mga Android devices like yung from Samsung at yung from Chinese manufacturers like Huawei, Oppo, Vivo, Xiaomi, at madami pang iba. So, may lugar pa ba for this new BlackBerry uh, Android running smartphones? or wala na. So, dapat na ba sila mag-stay sa past at maging part na lang ng history? Or dapat bumalik yung dating glory na meron ng mga BlackBerry smartphone? So, let me know guys in the comment section. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing only here on the channel where Nashti is nice. I'm Nashti. Till then.